The Canada that we live in today is a multilingual place and what was happening here on this land 500 years ago, 400, 300 years ago, was also multilingual. So when we began writing this story, we knew that we wanted to incorporate more than one language. So there's English, there's French, and there's Ganyangaha, which is a dialect of Mohawk. And there's really a weaving of these three languages throughout the piece. So some characters speak more of one language and less of another. Sometimes in a single scene, there's a mix of all three languages playing at once, and it really informs the characters and the development of the characters throughout the piece. It might not be that one character just speaks Mohawk and another character just speaks French. And knowing that language carries culture, language carries relationship, it colors the way that we interact with each other and with the natural world around us. It's interesting to play with as the characters have dawning knowledge and as the characters grow, how is that represented through the way they use language and who they say what to when in which language. Uh, it's all highly interconnected and really interesting and as artists it's really fun to play with in terms of the communication of the characters and the overall story. As part of the production there will be uh, surtitles that are translating in English all of the French and Mohawk that is spoken in the production. And so there are two ways that you can, you can experience the show and that's one is through what's written up there and the other one is just sort of being immersed in the language. We're really excited about the moments of connection between characters but also the moments of disconnect and where they have the language barrier, where there's an ideological barrier in trying to understand one another and the language enables us to play with that a little bit more too. So you can also just sit back and not understand but in the not understanding of that language that you don't speak, you are actually experiencing what that character, what that historical person might have experienced in the moment when they first came here or when they, when people came to them, when they're living on this land speaking their language and suddenly this new group comes and they're speaking something completely different. So we think that experience is a part of the journey, is a part of the story and could be quite exciting as an audience. So you have both options. Before we begin rehearsals on Le Fais du Roi, we're actually going to Aquisasne to work with the Native American Traveling College who have been working with us on the translation of the script into Mohawk and so we'll be working with Mohawk speakers in the community, teachers who are going to be working with our cast and with our full company on the language and there's something really special in holding these three unique cultures, the English, French and Ganyangaha, together and then, and then having that be received by an audience.